New deadly spider spreads across the USA. The spider from hell. Five people have died this week due to the bite of this deadly spider. The spider was first seen in South Carolina in July since that it has caused deaths in West Virginia, Tennessee, and Mississippi. One bite from this spider is deadly. U.S. government working on antivenom. Please make your friends and family aware. How come there's no origin to this spider or no taxonomical classification linked to this spider species? Do we even have an understanding of it? Be sure to subscribe. Welcome to the Great Outdoors. Let's get the smallest stick we can grab and see how close we can get to them. More and more, day after day, new species of animals being introduced here to Florida through shipping containers and the pet trade. The Huntsman Spider, believed to have been brought over here to America through shipping containers. His closest relatives reside in Asia, so we believe that's where it originated from. Whoa, dude, he moved way too fast. You just flopped him on me, bro. He won't go off this. Never handle a spider you're unsure of the origin or species. The Huntsman Spider gets its name from its hunting tactics. It's a very fast moving spider and doesn't really spin in web like most spiders do. It just runs its prey down, feeding on roaches and even lizards. In Africa, they call this the lizard spider. It's also known as the crab spider because of how it moves sideways on trees and branches. Also yeah. known to be living in woods or caves. In fact, the largest huntsman spider was spotted in a cave. It was over 12 inches long. And by measure of leg span, it is the largest spider found. But we can't forget about other spiders who were introduced here in Florida. How could we possibly forget about the cellar spider? I have another video on my channel about the cellar spider. It's called the black widow hunter or the brown widow. Let's not forget that the black widow may be native, but the brown widow is not. And that species is found here in America as well. Also, we don't want to forget about the main point of if you don't mess with these spiders or snakes, more than likely they won't mess with you. What about that spider at the beginning that's traveling and spreading across the entire United States and caused up to five deaths? Well, the Latin name for that spider is Dystera crocata, and yes, those are its fangs, commonly called the woodlouse spider. Millions of years ago, when animals were still in a rapid state of diversification, there existed a creature called the giant isopod. Well, creatures like the giant isopod. This guy still exists and roams our seas and can be up to a foot long. This should put it into perspective. Now, those ancient ancestors of the giant isopod diversified in many ways, creating different creatures like the roly-poly, the giant isopod, the millipede, and the woodlouse. Now, since all those many different forms of isopods or crustaceans have come about, many different other creatures have started to capitalize on the resources that they hold within them. Many species of plants, insects, and animals all benefit from these alien-looking creatures. These aliens have adapted a hard exoskeleton in order to prevent predation. Since then, other plants and animals have specialized and found ways around that hard exoskeleton. Which brings me back to the woodlouse spider. Those long fangs allow it to sink its teeth down into the soft tissue between each of those plates on its exoskeleton injecting the prey with venom, paralyzing it, and allowing it to eat its meal. Now we've identified the Dystera crocata, or the woodlouse spider. The real question is, is this guy venomous enough to harm humans? Is it spreading across the United States? Or is there something else going on here? As with the huntsman spider, the cellar spider, the brown widow, the woodlouse spider is spreading across the United States. But, the woodlouse spider doesn't pose any real threat to humans, in fact, usually just some minor skin irritation or some itching. So there's nothing really to be worried about here. So what's really going on? Well, if you read the message closely, US government working on anti-venom at this time, please make your family and friends aware. That right there is a tail sign of something most people have heard of called chain mail. And the incentive for chain mail is to gather as many friends and family together as they can so they can start to spam your account. Guys, we gotta watch out for this stuff. Thanks for watching my video. If you would, make your friends and family aware. And hopefully we'll see you again in the great outdoors. I'm your host Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.
It's a very fast specimen. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy. So that's just a scaled representation there.